Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. Antonio's already got his line in, Tony's getting rigged up, Claudio's with us today and uh, where we're, we're fishing today is we're out here on Lake Ontario. We're between Youngstown, New York and Niagara on the Lake, Ontario and we're looking for lake trout. The beauty is we may get, uh, we're targeting lakers but you never know, we may get a rainbow or a bonus salmon. And my, the rig I'm running today, folks, I've tied on a T-turn, Thundermus T-turn swivel here, the three-way swivel. And uh, there's so many uses for these swivels. You know how much I like the T-turn. And today what I'm gonna do is something a little different. I tied on my T-turn, and off my T-turn, I'm going to a crankbait, a deep diving crankbait. And all we're gonna be doing is flat line trolling today. So I'm gonna let my line out, and off the other line of the T-turn, I'm going to tie on a bonus bait. I'm going to run the new SS uh, Viper Spoon and I'm going to rig that up as, uh, as a trailer. So I'll show you how I'm going to rig this up. Alright, I've got my snap there. So the way this is going to be running, I'm going to rig up my, my uh, SS Viper Spoon with, uh, with either a worm or a minnow type bait. And the reason I like these, if you haven't seen these yet, they are super strong. There's a stainless steel hook trace here and some big game hooks. They're ideal for big game, fresh water, and of course all saltwater fish. So that's the, that's the setup right there. And as we're trolling along, what's going to happen is this deep diving crankbait is going to get me down there. And the T-turn is going to keep me tangle free, no line twist, and it's going to allow my viper spoon to run off the backside of the uh, of the crankbait so I'm gonna have two baits down there one chasing another so stay tuned folks we're sure to have ourselves a great time well folks I guess I'm not rigging up I'm putting my line back because as we were trolling there I just put my line down and Antonio's hooked into one so let's see Tony you got I gotta put my line right there okay let me grab the net that didn't take long at all my goodness okay Was it five minutes not even five minutes Doesn't feel like a big one. No? No. Well, we got our little bass net. You know I love my little bass net. Got some spunk, though. He's got some spunk? Oh, yeah, he's got some spunk. Oh, yeah. It's a nice laker, folks. It's not a huge one, but it's a, it's a nice size one. Here he comes here, here he comes here. There we go, he's in the bag. Little bass nice. net does the job. How's that, Antonio? It's hey? great, because I caught one before you. <laughs> oh, he gets his line in, we're not even set up yet. He does that all the time, folks. He always gets his line in first. He likes to be the first one in. Okay. Well, it means the first fish. Yeah, there you go. Now, Antonio's doing the same thing. He's just running, uh, but he's running a crankbait. And again, all we're doing is flatlining. I'm running the boat at about two and a half miles an hour. We've got no downriggers, no weights, just the crankbait, deep diving crankbait that dives down about 20 feet. And uh, that's a nice lake trout right there. Not bad. Hey, good yeah. start to our day. Okay, folks, now I'm all rigged up here after Antonio so rudely interrupted me. <laughs> Okay, that was a good fish, Tony. Okay, so I've rigged up the Viper Spoon. As you can see, I've got a minnow type bait on there, and this has two actions in one lure, so it's going to look like uh, one chasing another. And then, of course, I got my crankbait on the bottom. So what you're going to have is the bait on the bottom, and then the Viper Spoon running a little bit higher on the top as we're trolling here. So I'm just going to drop my line down, and I don't have to worry again about any tangles or whatever because that T-turn is self-centering. So. Uh, it's never going to tangle up on me, so those two baits are going to be running true all the time. And all I'm going to do now is uh, I've got the boat running at uh, 2.8 miles an hour right now, and we're just going to troll along here as, as we saw moments ago with Antonio hooking into that one. And uh, what I like about my setup is I've got my crankbait on the bottom, and then I've got, in case there's something a little higher, I've got like a teaser rig on top with that Viper Spoon. So. If I get anything on the Viper Spoon, it'll be a bonus. There's and another interruption. Oh, Antonio, you're <laughs> killing me here. Okay, get my line. I'm gonna get my line in, Antonio. That's what, 10 minutes and that's two fish? I, I, folks, I gotta tell you, well, you've seen, I haven't even been set up and he's in the second fish already, so. 
I think we're gonna we're gonna have ourselves just a phenomenal day today. They're calling for the winds to pick up and the possible rain to come a little later. Uh, so we know we're gonna get at least a couple hours out here, and I think it's gonna be an action-filled couple of hours. That's for sure. Ah, oh, he's about this. Oh, maybe a little bigger than the last one. Really? Yeah, he's not uh, not much bigger. Wow. He's just stronger. That's all. <laughs> In fact, he might even be smaller, Antonio. I think you're right. Hey? Okay? I think you're right. Oh, okay. Nice, that's a nice lake trout. Beautiful. Let's put it back in. Let it in go, right? Yep. Okay. Catch and release. Beautiful. That was hilarious, folks. Tony and I actually got hung up with our two lines together and we've been playing around getting our lines tangled up and Tony just started reeling his line in and doesn't he hook into a huge laker? Unbelievable. And he's been on there, oh, he's been on there for a while. Oh, there he goes. He didn't like that net, Tony. <laughs> he's been on there for a while because we were all twisted up. Okay, my little bass net. If we get him in head first, I can, I can get him in. Just like that. Oh, that's a big fish, Tony. Hey, how's that for a bonus fish? We should get tangled up more often, eh? <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. You gotta love it. We're getting untangled. Our lines were all twisted because we made a bit of a, too much of a sharp turn there as uh, we're varying speeds and changing directions. So we killed the motor, get ourselves untangled. Tony starts cranking and wham. Oh, that's yeah. a big fish, eh? Yeah, nice fish. Yeah, about 10, 10 and, pounds, you yeah. figure? Oh, yeah, easy. Beauty. Okay, let's get him back in. There's a release, and down he goes. Yeah. Like a bullet, eh? Yeah. Gotta nice. love it. Okay, what do you think? We should get tangled up again, or what? Yeah. Antonio won't like it, though. He's not catching fish now. I know, I'm waiting here, jigging. You're jigging. Look, you never stop fishing. This guy, folks, I tell you, never stops fishing. You gotta be prepared. You gotta be prepared. He's jigging, and you know what? Jigging for lake trolls is a lot of fun too, but we're gonna keep trolling today. Antonio's out again. They said the winds were gonna pick up, and they did pick up. We thought we'd have two hours out here, but it's been just about an hour now, and this lake has really kicked up. I don't know how much longer we'll have out here, but we'll see what Antonio's got on. He's got, that fish has got that line all wrapped up around. It must be wrapped around like uh, five or ten times. Let's see if we can land them. Uh, see if you can land them. There we go. I can land them, no problem. But he's all wrapped up. And he's all beat up, too. Wow. I don't know. I think uh, that one, I think we may have to keep. Yeah, it looks like it looks like maybe that line was wrapped. I think that's the line. I don't it know. Is. But it's, well, it's bleeding right now, so okay, he'll keep. He'll have to keep. One thing I do want to mention, though, as we're flatlining like this and trolling, we're keeping our rods very pointed down close to the water. If our rod tips are up, that's going to force those lures up. So when you're when you're flatlining like that and you want to get your map to maximum depth, you got to keep your rod tip pointed down as you're trolling. That's the key. You know what, folks? I absolutely love it when you pull back on the on the rod and all you feel is weight. Antonio, this one's got some weight to him. At least he was strong, anyway. All right, let me get him. You want to land him up? Yep. Wow. That was one solid hit. Really solid hit. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a viper spoon. Look at that. It's a bonus fish right there, folks. That's why I wanted to run the viper spoon rig just like that. Nice. Looky there. That is one bonus fish. Let's see. Get him in here, Antonio. Nice. Hey, my little rig paid off. Nice. My, my teaser rig, folks. My teaser rig. And wow, that he hit that viper spoon hard. Holy mackerel. Okay. Let's get get that right out of his mouth. Can you poke that out? Wow. Single hook right in there. Nice big game hook. Oh, okay, folks. <laughs> That's what I call a bonus fish. 
right there. I absolutely love it. Teaser rig. That's a chapter out of the saltwater uh, fishing book, that's for sure. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Lakeshore. Oh, <laughs> double header, folks. We got a double header on the go. Unbelievable. Tony's rod went off. My rod went off. Here's mine here, Tony. I'm telling you, you're going to land him? I'm going to try to. Oh, there he is. Nice. Nice one. Beautiful fish. There's he's my viper net. spoon. Oh, he's going to jump out. You need the net for Tony, right? You got another one there. I changed my lure, folks. I went to the silver. I went to silver based lure right there. I got that. Uh, Got that real bright color off. Let me get him off. My viper spoon's no worse for wear. I know you need the net. Get the, actually, we got another net here, Antonio. Here you go, Antonio. See what you can do with this little oh, net. No. Test your landing skills. This is a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> test your landing skills. Oh my. Yeah, everyone in the corner of this boat. I gotta go for a dip. <laughs> yeah. The wind is really picked up. Need my help, Antonio? No. Okay. I gotta land. I gotta let mine go, folks. A nice little laker. Get him back in. Let's see what Tony's got. Holy mackerel! <laughs> Look at the size of this fish, folks! Holy mackerel! Tony, that's a huge one. The winds have really picked up. We're just having a great time out here, folks. I gotta tell you, they said the winds were going. We've been out here for about an hour. And it looks like we're not going to get much more time out here because it's getting pretty rough. We're going to get this guy off the, off the hook. What a phenomenal day out here. We've only had an hour, but it's been action-packed. If you get an opportunity, come on out to Lake Ontario. Do some flatline and some trolling the month of April, the month of May. Both those months are ideal. And you could end up with a trophy fish. As always, folks, thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing. We need to get this guy back in the water.